Recently I played three games in the Unlock Escape Adventure system, which is a system that simulates in analog format the experience of an escape room, and it's an experience that you can play at home with your friends. I described in my review of the system how the game works in general, but now I want to give you a closer look at it. And to do so, we're gonna use the tutorial. I tried three games in the system, the formula, Squeaking Sausage, and the Island of Dr. Goors, and they all come with a tutorial. It is the same tutorial, it is a small deck of cards, and of course you also need the app. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna play the tutorial, we're going to go through the entire tutorial. So on one hand, spoiler alert, this is not gonna be mild spoiler, this is gonna be total spoilers, complete spoilers. I'm going to show you everything that the tutorial does. On the other hand, you can play along, so I'm not just going to play with you. You don't have to just watch me play the tutorial, which also I already know, so I'm not exactly playing it. But simply I'll show you the various clues that you have, that the game gives you, so you get a sense of how the game works, how the progression works, but also you can play. That is, after I show you all the clues, before it's the time to go further, I'll take a break, I'll invite you to pause, and then you can pause the game, look at the components like you would if you were here playing it with me, and then, well, at that point, you can try to solve it in your head, and then you start my video again, and you see if you got it right. But again, that's why you will know how the unlock system works, but remember, you will also know all that the tutorial has to offer. On the, other hand, on the other hand, again, it's a very small adventure, it's an excellent tutorial, I loved it, I love showing it to my friends, and so I decided I also wanted to show it to you. So, the tutorial. So, first you take the cards of the tutorial, and you simply put them on the table in front of you, as simple as that. Then you launch the unlock app, this is what it looks like when you first launch it. First we choose a language, American English, and here we have the tutorial. If you wanted to play another adventure, we would go. Those are the pages, but tutorial it is. We play the tutorial. And here is how it works. We press start, pause when we want. Well, get when the start. This is where we will input the codes when we need to insert a four digit code. This is where we'll ask for hints if we need any. We can review hints later. We are going to have music, but now we're going to play it silently. And then hidden objects. Sometimes there is hidden information in a card and you can press here to see if there is any in the card you're examining. You can also select an auto function that will simply alert you when the hidden objects are available. So start and pause. For the tutorial we only had 10 minutes. Basically this is what happens. Here's a description. We are locked in a room. Then we flip the card and this is the room that we're in. So you see we get a sense of the place and these are the things that we can interact with. There is something at 11, 21, 35, 42, etc, etc. So we have 11, 21, 35, 42, and 67. These are the items that we see now as we go around this room. Maybe the relative position matters, maybe doesn't, uh, who knows, and maybe in some games it matters more than in others. What do we find here? 11, which was here, we find a key. The key, as you can see, is coded with blue and has the piece of puzzle. Blue items can be combined with red objects, or sometimes with the red number on a green card, and if you do so, you add the numbers together. Then we have a door, 21, which is the door that we're trying to open because we're trying to exit the door. It's locked and it has that, well, that's what it looks like. In order to open it, you need to get to the app, insert the code for this card and input the right four digit code. So we have to figure out what are the four numbers and in what order that open this door. We're gonna put it there because I got the feeling that this is gonna be the last card that we are gonna interact with. 35 which is here, we get a lock cabinet, which can be combined with a blue object. Then we have a TV screen here on the wall, it's red, so it needs to be combined with a blue object or who knows what else. And then this strange panel here, 67, is a strange panel, a grid with some metal pegs and with numbers printed on it. It is a machine, again the code for the green items. Machines, your goal is first to obtain a single red number, 
as the sum of some numbers printed here and then you add the blue objects. I'm thinking of this as like the numbers on the machines represent, you know, uh, well, the program and then you need to add something to fuel it, to start it. So it's a com so to make a machine work and to obtain another number, you need to find the right numbers in here plus combine it with a blue number. So this is what we have. This is what we have. We have a lock cabinet, so we have a TV, again we have the door that we don't need right now. It's a tutorial. It's probably not going to be very challenging, so don't worry about that. What do we think we should do? We should try to break the screen with the key. Let's combine the key and the screen. 53, that's totally going to work. Or is it? Or is it not? I don't know. What would you do? Take a minute to see if you see any hidden images. Pause. Enlarge the image. If you see any hidden image, or again, if you want to do the fairly standard idea of combining two different things, in which case, remember, you need to combine a red thing with a blue thing, unless you feel ready to already tackle this one. Thinking in your head what you would do. Take a break. We're going to take a break now. Ready? Probably, probably you got a sense that it could be a good idea to combine the two to try to use the key to open the lock lock cabinet. So 35 and 11 is 46. Do we have a car 46 here? Oh, right, we do. How lucky are we? In fact, as you can see, now we have the lock cabinet that is now unlocked and the instructions to remove these two cards. So this is what we found. This is what we found. Hooray. Now we have, these are the cards that are in play. What should we do next? What do you think we should do next? Feel free to pause, think about it, and see what, what comes to mind. Ready to continue? Yes, you probably have noticed that there is a number printed here, 16. So that's a hidden object, and we see, oh look at that, how lucky, there is a number 16 in the deck of cards. And what does it show you? What did we found in the dark area? We found uh, a piece of electrical wire we dance in the form of rings. You can combine this with a red object or with a machine. These are the things that we have now. What should we do now? What should we do now? When I play this game with my friends, sometimes the first thing that they are tempted to do is try to connect the two of them. That will lead, that will give us 58, and there isn't a 58 in the deck, I can already tell you. Also, what I'm really doing is not an electric wire, it's not like a, you can plug it in, it's just a small piece of, of wire. Something that could be done, of course, would be to combine this item with this item. Probably this could be used to combine some of these pegs. And remember how machines work. You connect some of their numbers with a blue item, and so that indicates that we are activating that panel. However, we need to figure out which of these pegs we should connect. Remember, these are the pegs that we have. So for the time being, we can put this there because we don't know the, the general idea for now is that we need to figure out a way of connecting those. But how do we connect them? Which dots do we connect with which? Oh look, is this a clue? Looks like it might be, because it's the same pattern. So if this is a clue, that tells us that with the wire that we had, we could connect the central pegs, like the one that says plus 3 and the one that says plus 6. So this card, by connecting it according to the clues, gives us plus 9. Also, we have the 16, which is the word itself. 9 and 16 is 25. Oh, look at this. What are the odds? There is a card number 25. So we turn it, and it gives us plus 6. Well done. You have restored electricity by placing the wire in the machine. Now, we have electricity in the room. What can we use the electricity for? Hmm, I wonder. Now we have plus 6 that represents the electricity. So if we combine them... It tells us what happens if you combine electricity with the screen, you probably turn on the TV, right? I know I didn't give you the chance to figure it out by yourself, but I think that was pretty obvious, especially when you have only two cards. 40, um, uh, 42 and 6, 48. Yay, the screen is on. It seems like we're now ready to leave the room. 
at this point oh and it's good because we only have two minutes left then we go here it tells us do you want to enter a code if it's incorrect you lose three minutes which means we lose the game remember codes always have four digits of course we want to do it now we write down 48 to let the game no sorry hey we read out mm, yeah no 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 uh -huh. We write down 21, because this is the code that we're trying to solve. Please enter four digits. I sure will, and I will enter... What number should I enter? Think about it. Take a minute. Ready? The first time I played the tutorial, actually, I entered 7239, like a silly person <laughs> lost the game. Because I didn't notice, of course, they were color-coded. And so the colors on the door indicates the, the order in which the numbers go. E, the first letter is red, so the first number I'm gonna put the red number. So yeah, I know, not very colorblind friendly. X, second letter is yellow, same color as the three. Then we have the blue I, which is seven. And then the last letter is green. And so the last number will be the green number, I believe. Is this the right code? Well done! You have finished the tutorial. You can now check your score, your time and the penalties incurred. Ta-da! Okay, no penalties. It took us nine minutes. We got five stars. We didn't even use any hint. Almost as if, like, you know, I already knew the tutorial. So this is how the system works. Again, this is very basic, very <laughs> trivial, but it tells you all that you need to, to know, which is basically main concepts are hidden objects, you have to look for small numbers or small letters, so how to use machines, how to combine blue things into red things, and as you can see, how to combine one thing into the next. So this is the tutorial for the unlock system. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you give a try to some of the main games that are based on the system because well I enjoyed them I enjoyed them immensely hey, the very reason why I made this tutorial is to hope that you get a better sense of the game and how fun the game can be and so that I hope you will give a try to the full game I try only these guys uh, Dr. Gors, Squeak and Sasha's the formula you can watch my full video review for these games it's a fun game and I can assure you that I will review more unlock escape adventures games in the system uh, in the future because well these are really, really, really fun games.